hold up. Can you push the bass up in my headset and give me a little more volume overall? It keeps dropping the sample out. B-U-G-S. What's up, guys? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. Of course, you can always get lessons there. You can hit me up and call me, too, as well, to get some help. Now, there's something that NPCs all have. Bucks. That's right. Bucks. There are approximately 16 bugs in 3.5. You know why I know this? Because Akai told us so. You see, somewhere around June this year, Akai introduced the 3.5 update for your MPC. The update was kind of cool. It fixed the problem with 3.4.1. That was great because then we were able to get out of those bugs. You may, don't remember that? You'll see here that there's no more 3.4.1. <laughs> they got rid of it totally. You can't even download that sucker in any one of these versions of the software. Now, of course, you can always go to AkaiPro.com and download any one of these softwares for your MPC. Now, for me, the most stable one is 2.15.1. That's the one that really works. Three and up is still a sort of a beta thing. They don't say it is, but you can't do many things, including time signature. It's kind of weird. So many parts don't even work. But Akai is smart. I think most companies are actually doing this right now. They're telling you we got bugs. So here, let's go to release notes right here. We got release notes that are right here. MPC 3.5 release notes, right? And you'll see here, firmware update. And you'll see here the bugs that were fixed are right here. And we go further down, you'll see right here, these are known issues right here. Known issues. Let's make this bigger. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see this as I'm looking at it. These are all the known bugs. These are 16 bugs that you may have stopping you from working. You may think your software sucks and you don't know what's going on. So you need to know these bugs. Activation list not accurate on first startup after update. You update the software, boom, you got it. But there hasn't been an update since 3.5. So this one, I guess, if they give you 3.5.2 or something soon, maybe they'll fix this bug. Larger projects from 3.4.1 can fail to load with memory error. But there's no longer 3.4.1. If you got that, you need to get rid of that software. 3.4.1, get rid of it. Next. In Create Stems, tapping a pad changes the sample that is being processed. So if it's doing this thing with the pads, okay, well, I tap that pad and then bam, it changes the whole process. Don't tap a pad when it's creating this stem. You got that? Otherwise you get a problem. All right. Toggling effects on or off on two or more simultaneously causes UI to become out of sync. So that means that our total UI will be out of sync. Our user interface will be out of sync because by changing those specific effects in the inserts will just get us out of sync. You may have done that and that happened to you. That is a bug. Okay. Using bounce to audio track does not mute the original track. So if I bounce to an audio track, it does not mute the original track. Be aware of that. Next, we got metronome doesn't sound when set to mono. Now this one caught me once. I was trying to use the metronome in a separate output and have the bass guitar another output so it can be heard back without recording it. And so I couldn't do that because it has to come out in stereo. So if you're trying to do something like that, be aware of that. Okay. Multiple uses of double length in events on arrangement causes UI to freeze. So my unit, user interface will freeze if I try to use double length with events on arrangement. So be aware of that. Do not go through double length with events. I do just use double length with measures, not events or bars. Next. 
load to pool not working for slice samples on external hard drives. So I've got some slice samples and they're on an external hard drive. Well, I can't load those into the pool inside of my MPC, my sample pool. What I gotta do is make sure that those files are on a separate drive, probably internally inside the MPC. I use like a compact flash, pull my card out here. I use this one right here, one of these. I make sure it's inside my MPC when I do do that, because I don't want to have that happen again. That did happen to me one time. All right. Setting external drive as the temp file location causes saving issues if the drive is disconnected and reconnected. So if you put something on a drive that disconnects and reconnects, and it's going to be in a temp file. Temp files are these files that are just temporary files, but they're files that are always being used by the machine it will cause a problem. So be aware of that as well. And if you got any of the problems too, let me know what problems you're having because I'm curious about all these bugs that they're listing here. And I've seen some more, but these are other bugs. I'm not too sure what they are, what they are or whether the software just does that. Track mute automation on 1.1.0, right? That's the very first beat, very first bar, the very first event is not copied with copy bars. So if I put something on the first one and I copy the bars over, that will be missing. Okay, so be aware of that too. You'll think that, wait, something's wrong with the machine? It is, it's a bug. Particularly when you copy bars like that. That's important. Next, scroll up here. Using sudden in next sequence mode can break track mutes per sequence. So if I hit the sudden quickly and it goes to the next sequence, well, I could break those mutes out, which you've probably seen before. You should test this and see if it works in your machine or not. That's important too. Okay, momentary track mute button does not work for certain devices. Peep that out. So for certain machines, your momentary track mute button does not work. Next, we got arrangement stops when changing internal track types while in sync mode. So you shouldn't be changing these track types. Keep it the same track. It should be if it's a drum track, a drum track, a keyboard track, a keyboard track. But do not change these tracks while you're in sync mode. Now loading a drum track into an existing project and using save does not save the samples for the loaded track. Okay, save as does save the samples to the project. So if I have a track that's got samples on it, and it's a drum track, right? And I wanna save this track into the system, save the track, but you've gotta save the samples with it. So you gotta save as, rather than save the, that, that track in there. You gotta save as, and you'll save everything else if you save along with that project. Okay, pressing the hardware buttons whilst in pop-up is open in the new project dialog will cause a crash. And that's straightforward right there. You hit that button, whilst the pop-up is open, boom, it'll crash. Definitely. Did that before with an insert. Pop-up, bam, hit it, it crashes. That even happens also on the software sometimes. When you pull up the MPC uh, desktop beta, it will crash like that. And the last one here is the progress bar occasionally hangs on the screen when loading a project with multiple plugins. Now, can be dismissed with a swipe gesture, swipe up, like a swipe. And I've seen that happen too as well. So you gotta make sure when you are working with that idea of like uh, the progress bars there, in case it hangs on the screen while loading this project up and the multiple plugins, just be careful, try to let them load with a swipe across it. Now these are 16 of the most really I guess, consistent bugs that are inside the software. If you find any of the bugs, list them below. I'm curious what they are, so I may do a video on these bugs and pull them out, but a lot of my very simple bugs, I think not many people do, but I do give lessons, and so people have been talking about these bugs. I have six, I fixed some bugs for a lot of guys, uh, particularly um, this other bug here, which one was it?
the momentary bump and the sudden bug, and this one here about copying the bars in automation, and then you try to copy it, and then the first automation piece is gone. So be careful of that. Now, if you got any questions, of course, hit me up at samplekings.com. If you need lessons, we do that too as well. Uh, just hit us up. Go to samplekings.com and you're in. I'll see you in the next video.